one of the most underutilized ways to game on a budget is renting video games. Because I think a lot of people don't even realize that you can rent video games anymore. Because you just about can't. <laughs> <laughs> there is a way. There is a you way. Know, there is a way, but... You know, the days of cruising down to your local Blockbuster and picking up a couple of N64 games for the weekend is, uh, you know, gone the way of the Dodo. Yeah. Used to, that was the way we did it. That, that was the way. But renting isn't dead. You can still rent games and it can still be a really cheap way to game. The most popular way to do this is definitely Gamefly. Mm -hmm. And Gamefly, as you probably know, and as we've talked about in the past, it is a service where you, it's kind of like old school Netflix, where they ship you a little envelope that has the disc or the cartridge or whatever. And then when you're done playing it, you send it back. And this is for like a monthly fee. Yeah, you know, they have a nice app. You can queue up what games you want in what order. Uh, they send them out pretty quick. No complaints. No, it really works quite well, and it's, and it's also very affordable. They have different tiers, but their cheapest tier is around $8 a month. I'm not exactly sure. We did a whole entire episode about Gamefly and about all breaking down the different tiers and the price level. So if you're interested in knowing more about it, that's definitely a great resource. Now let's talk about everybody's favorite way to rent games, Randy. What's that? Redbox. Redbox. If you have a Redbox in your area, <clears throat> lots of them have games. Yeah. And they have a lot of the newer games too. And I think a lot of people think Redbox is just movies. Yeah, that's what I think about it being, uh, honestly. But I yeah. mean, maybe, if, you know, if you get a good value on a game you want to play, cool. And some people still have like mom and pop uh, video rental and they may have games. So we do. As a matter of fact. Do they still have games though? I haven't been in there in like 15 years. Yeah. I so. went in there maybe like a few years ago and they definitely still have movies. <laughs> but I don't know. I didn't look for video games when I was there. We should do like a like a gaming gig live stream where we go visit our local uh, yeah. our local video rental store. This would be a blast from the past <laughs> to go in that place. I mean, because they really mm. are gone. I mean, no one has these. Yeah. They used to be everywhere. And it's the same place that we rented games as a kid. Like, it hasn't even moved. I bet they do have video games. Probably. We should totally do it. But back to the topic in hand, in terms of, like, gaming on a budget, renting, if you are okay with dealing with the mail, uh, Gamefly is a really great way to game on a budget. And one of the biggest pros for using something like Gamefly is that you get you can play games when they're new. So it's really just depending on what, what games do you want to play. Those yeah. are the games that you're going to be able to rent. Yeah, there's really no FOMO to worry about. The only thing you have to do is prioritize. I mean, I think that there are still some cons to renting, you know? Yeah. And that would be like, you don't get to keep the game. Mm -hmm. You got to send it back. Right. And of course, like we've mentioned, you can keep it with Gamefly, but again, that's not renting. That's not renting. Yeah. At that point, you're just buying a used game. Yeah. You know, it, it does hurt a little bit to send back a game that you really liked. Yeah. Because you want to keep it. Yeah. That's so, what I did with Kirby. I couldn't, I couldn't put it in the mailbox. You're like, I can't send you back. You know, this is definitely not an option for someone who like wants to collect games. Renting is not going to be for you, mm -hmm. but renting is probably like one of the most convenient ways to play brand new games and to play a, a bunch of different games. Absolutely.